everyone! So today is, I know, shocking right? Today is the first Halloween look I will be doing. This is totally inspired by Patriot Josh. I love him. And, um, yeah, it's like, it's like, it, it, it's like I was being killed <coughs> while crying. <laughs> with glittery makeup on. No, 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 wait, stop. Since he called it the Heatherette 24 hour party people, the scenario went like this. I was at a Heatherette party. <laughs> yeah, come on. I got killed <laughs> while crying <laughs> with Heatherette glittery party makeup on. Yeah. So anyways, I hope you like my first Halloween look. I will try to do some more. I'm not exactly sure yet because I have no idea. So if you have any questions or requests for a Halloween look that you would like to see me do for you, then please leave them in the comment section because I'm open to anything. And... If I like the requests, I will do some more looks for Halloween. So, if you want to know how I did this, keep on watching the link to Josh's videos in the sidebar. So, check that out as well, and thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, guys, the first step to this crazy look is to decide where your, like, tears are going to be. Um... First thing about this is just do it. Don't think about where they need to be, how they need to be placed. Just place them and it will all come to its right. It, it needs to be messy so it doesn't have to be perfect and just do it. So I'm taking any black you have. Um, I'm taking a black from B Slap Cosmetics which is Nasty B. And I'm taking this Sigma 1, no, 266 SS brush. I'm just taking some of that black. And now we're just going to decide where it's going to be. So, let's start. Tear number one. Just place it like, like, like that. Like that. Go with the flow. They're there now. You cannot change it anymore. It's done. They're on. So for this bruising purpley color, I'm taking my MAC Hello Kitty palette in 2 Dolly. And I'm taking that color, which is Romping. And I'm taking a 222 by MAC. And I take a lot of it out. Just uh, dig it out. Dig it out. Like that, I'm just gonna swipe that all around those tears. We're just going all around them. Like you can see that purple shading, that is where you want them. Just under your eyes as well, everywhere. And once you have it everywhere, you're going in your crease with it. In your crease. And go pretty high up because there's a lot of black coming and you still want to see that pinkish color. Now you're taking any brush you want and I'm taking this 252 by Sigma and I'm taking that black and you're going to put this onto your lid and it doesn't have to be neat at all because as you can see it's all blended out. So don't be neat at all and go in your crease and just place it. And then put it on your lower lid as well. And now you're taking any blending brush you prefer. I'm taking the 224 by Sigma and I'm blending that into the pink. Blend it in. Blend. 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 
Now we're taking a 219 by Sigma and go back in that black color and then just retrace those tears. And you don't exactly want to go all the way down to the end because you want them to be thinner. You know what I mean? So just at the beginning, shade them. Because you don't want big blobs of black at the end of a tear because that's not right. That's just, no, 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 no. You just don't do that. You don't. Now I'm going back with that um, angle brush and I'm just going to redefine those tears. And now is the time to decide if you want more, if you want bigger tears. Just redefine them and in between the big tears like that you're going to apply little strands of small ones. Now you're going to take stars and rockets with that 224 and really dig in there again. This is for a nice purple sheen. I always hated stars and rockets until this week. I kind of play with my makeup in the morning, here as well, and um, I was like, oh, I really need to find a way to use stars and rockets, and I placed a, a super neutral color on my lid and sketch in my crease with stars and rockets on top of it, and it made this brilliant purple, brilliant purple, I loved it. So, if you don't know what to do with your Stars and Rockets, get some sketch or a darker color, put um, Stars and Rockets on top of it, and it's a gorgeous purple. Just try it out. Believe me, it's beautiful. But this is optional. I like to have a highlight on my brow bone and on the inner corner, so I'm taking a 252 by MAC and Vanilla Eyeshadow, and that is going on my brow bone. I just like it to have um, highlights on my brow bone. I don't know why. And a little bit on that inner corner right there. And for some more shimmer on that inner corner, I'm going to take a Vex. And you can take the same brush, and that is going on your inner corners and between the purple and the highlight as well. Right here. That's basically it for the shadows. It's crazy, but that's exactly what we want. Now for the glitter. If you get glitter in your eye, um, do not rub it. If you rub it, you will get nasty things on your eyes. So take a Q-tip, make it wet, and place it on the glitter until it lifts up and then the glitter is gone. Do this with glitter that comes in your eye. Just a little... No, for if you get glitter in your eye. Um, you need to use something that is going to stick. The glitter needs to stick to your eyes. Um, you can use the MAC Pro gloss thingies. I do not own that. So I got a little problem. But it was like, if you can use gloss, you can use any gloss you have. So I'm taking my OCC Black Tar, which is tarred. And I'm just taking a little bit onto my hand, a little bit, and I take any brush I want, and I take a kind of stiff one, that Stigma 252. And the glitters I'm going to use are Hollywood by Glamour Doll Eyes. It's a 3D silver. I love Glamour Doll Eyes. Rave, also by Glamour Doll Eyes. And um, Reflex tr Transparent Teal. So I'm taking some of that lip tar, just a little bit, and I'm patting that onto my under eye and into the strands. Just go onto those tears. And then take some of that Rafe, that purple glitter, and just pat it on. It 
it's working. Just pat it on. And now you take some more and take the 3D silver and place just some random spots. Just everywhere some random spots of 3D silver. And then if you like, you can take some transparent teal and just move that on top of everything. Now, if you do not like all this glitter, which I think is a little bit too much, I take some of that black eyeshadow again and just go on top of them. Just re-blacken it. Okay, so the glitter is on on the other eye and I decided to take some glitter from the transparent teal onto my lids as well. So that is it for this look. For my lips, I want it to look dead. I want it to be like a Kill Beauty MAC whore. So I took a lot of concealer and blended it in and powder on top to make them look really dry. So that is on my lips. A little poof in the hair. Fake hair, you can curl your hair, straighten your hair, put it in your face like you've been beaten up like crazy. So that is it. my first Halloween look, totally inspired by Josh, aka Petri Lude. And um, I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And yeah, I really like doing this. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.